This is Just Tool Basics, and today we're talking about taper gauges. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's topic is taper gauges, and specifically this shim or flat style taper gauge. This is a really nice um, stare at number 270 that a viewer actually sent in. Who He said he found it at a pawn shop for cheap. Um, but I, I certainly appreciate it. It's it's in amazing condition. And uh, we'll have another video soon going over the other kind of taper gauge, um, the one that's typically used for like bearings and things. This one's more for slots. Uh, it can be used as testing shim width needs. And the use that I came up with for it is to confirm settings or, or help set up things like a jointer in my woodworking shop. So before we go out and show how that would work and, and how this thing is used in that context, I'm going to swap out for a macro lens because this thing is a little bit hard to see uh, with this particular lens. So give me one second. As you can see, it's engraved with markings from 10 thousandths to 150 thousandths on this side. And this side, it goes from zero <laughs> to uh, four millimeters. Now, something to be careful is, at a glance, this side kind of looks like an inches ruler, but it's not. It's the millimeter side. And this side looks more metric-y to me. And, uh, but it's not. It's the thousandths of an inch side. Now, this tool is made of tool steel. It's ground to pre precision thickness. So the marked measurements are quite accurate over the length of, of the, the tool. And uh, I can grab a... I can use this dial gauge, and let's grab it at, I don't know, 70 thousandths. That is right at, oh, oh, I'm a little bit short. It slid a little bit. All right. That is right at, come on, right at 70 thousandths, right at 70 thousandths. So as you can see, it's, it's quite accurate over its length. Something to be aware of when you're reading one of these things is that, so even though like it says 80 thousandths and you're like, it's right here in the center, it's not this line, it's this line. And that could certainly make a difference if you're depending on this for measuring shims or whatever you're measuring. You know, you don't want to be 5 thousandths off. All right, so we're going to take this out into the shop and I'll show you how I decided to use this to confirm some settings on my jointer. And I could use it to adjust the jointer, but you know, this video isn't about me adjusting a jointer. This video is about me using this to measure something, which I'll show you how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the blade guard out of the way and just use a little quick clamp to keep it there. The machine's unplugged. There's no real danger of anything falling into the blades or touching the blades or anything like that. Now I'm just using an aluminum torpedo level. Of course, we could use a higher precision straight edge or something like that, but with woodworking equipment, that higher precision isn't really necessary, and I figure most folks watching this channel probably have a little torpedo level or some other flat bar of some kind that they can use. That's right at about 40 thousandths. So while the taper gauge says that it's 40 thousandths, it should be reading about 15 thousandths since that's what it says on the indicator. So I will have to adjust that indicator. That's the thing in the bottom right hand corner. But in the meantime, I'll at least confirm that the two tables are in parallel to each other by measuring it in multiple places. But like I said before, I'm not going to make you watch me adjust the jointer indicator since this is a video about taper gauges. Anyway, if you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.